Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries and in this segment we're going to cover the Ideal Trace Tone product here. Now the Trace Tone is actually referred to as a tone and probe and actually so it's two devices down here. So in the bottom here is referred to as a tone generator and this product over here is referred to as an amplifier probe. Now these are used for tracing of wires and I tell you guys I think everybody ought to own one of these so they're very handy to have if you're trying to find the other end of a cable. I don't care Romex, Cattery wire, coax, uh, speaker wire, any of these things. Uh, as long as there's no AC involved we're good. Okay. And when I look at the two units, uh, and by the way if you want some tips on how to use them you might go check out my YouTube channel. I've got a video on uh, tone and probe basics but if I look at the two units I've got the probe here first. It's got a cavity in the back that obviously the remote can come into in and out of. Uh, there's a, uh, a little uh, compartment here for batteries, uh, volume control right there on the side and there's obviously a little uh, opening here for the speaker and there's an on and off switch and then we have this little conductive tip. Now tone or probe devices will pick up any induced sound or noise they might run across including electrical noise. So if I have this uh, hold next to uh, electrical AC uh, power cord and I push the button I get uh, a little sound coming off of that All right, and it's picking up the magnetic field coming off that electrical wiring. Uh, if I uh, have it uh, near <laughs> down the street from a radio station, if the signal's loud enough, I might actually hear it. So again, these are good at picking up any induced sound, including what we hear coming out of our tone generators. Now, when I look at the tone generator, it's got uh, a unit that basically, again, slides in and out of the back of the unit like that. Now, if you accidentally put the remote in backwards like this, you'll find that there's a little slide switch right here that turns the, the toner on, and when I push it in like that, it actually turned the toner on. And it is flashing at you. They're indicating that the tone generator is on, and it's actually putting out a signal the probe device can pick up. Now, uh, if you put the remote in correctly, it will actually slide into a little slot here on the side, and when it does, it actually then would turn the tone generator off. So it's great because you can't put the tone generator in there and leave it on accidentally and uh, you know uh, drain the batteries on it. Now when you look at this again tone generator we've got that little on and off switch which showed you. Uh, the back's really got nothing on it. The other side's got an RJ11 uh, jack on it and in the very back here is a little thing that helps slide it and hold it into the back of the probe device and then there's another little battery compartment back over here again if you need to change out the batteries. Now the uh, tester comes with a couple patch cord and one of them looks like that one and it's just a small little patch cord we can plug into the uh, tone generator that would allow us to plug it right into say a phone jack over here or you know a data jack if we care to okay and then we could go trace uh, that phone wire or maybe that data wire in a wall. Uh, it comes with a second uh, patch cord and the second patch cord also has an RJ11 on it but it now has a couple uh, uh, alligator clips on the end of it as well okay and that allows us to attach uh, the the tester to a, 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 cup, a, a, a pair or you know some two con conductors and uh, we, again we could trace any kind of wire as long as there's no AC present and uh, really think anything is metal you could put a tone down but if I want to use the tester I could take a piece of cattery wire here which I've stripped the blue the outer jacketing off the blue pair here and I'm going to put my test leads and attach them to the blue pair and when I go to turn the tester on there's a couple settings here if I turn it on uh, part way it uh, gives me kind of a slower uh, blinking light there and if I put my toe probe to the uh, leads I get a one tap sound if I turn it all the way up it's giving me a little bit faster sound so you actually get two separate tones with the tester okay and if I then want to go to the other end of the cable and go find uh, that uh, pair that I'm putting a tone down and I take the probe device, again I got to take the conductive tip here and kind of touch and push the button, kind of touch the, or hold it right to the end of each of these pairs, okay, and you can see I'm getting sound off the blue pair and I'm really getting nothing or very little out of the other pairs. You should hear a little bit, but the loudest sound in one is the one you're looking for and that's what the tester is used for it's a tracing of wire and uh, that's the ideal 60 uh to 140 trace tone tester and uh, as I said earlier in the video everybody ought to own one of those so uh, again I'm Ron with Ideal and I'll see you next time. 